In this video, we're going to go over the Cannizzaro reaction. This reaction occurs when you mix two aldehydes in the presence of a strong alkaline or basic solution. Now, in order for this reaction to work, the alpha carbon cannot have any alpha hydrogen atoms. Because if it has alpha hydrogen atoms, this reaction can undergo the aldol reaction. But if there are no alpha hydrogens, then it's going to undergo the Cannizzaro reaction. The Cannizzaro reaction is a disproportionation reaction where one aldehyde is oxidized and the other is reduced. So here we have oxidation occurring as we go from an aldehyde to a carboxylate ion. And we also have reduction occurring where the other aldehyde molecule is reduced to and alcohol. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over the reaction mechanism for this reaction using benzaldehyde as our re as our starting material. So let's draw benzaldehyde. So benzaldehyde is basically a benzene ring with an aldehyde functional group attached to it. And the reaction must occur under strongly basic conditions. In the first step, the base is going to attack the carbonyl carbon, causing the pi bron break. And so we're going to get a tetrahedral intermediate that looks like this. So right now, the oxygen has three lone pairs and the negative charge. Now at this point, we're going to react that intermediate with another benzaldehyde molecule. So we're going to use a lone pair from this oxygen. It's going to reform the pi bond and in the process, it's going to expel a hydride ion, which will attack the carbonyl group of the other aldehyde molecule. So by doing this, this part, this molecule will be oxidized, and this aldehyde will be reduced to an alcohol. Note that in this mechanism, This intermediate releases the hydride ion. Because it releases the hydride ion, it's going to be oxidized. The molecule that accepts the hydride ion is the one that's reduced. So the redox reaction in the Cannizzaro reaction mechanism, it occurs through a transfer of a hydride ion. So the first product initially will be a carboxylic acid. Now it's not going to last long in this state under basic conditions. And then the other product will be an alkoxide ion. Now, because the solution is strongly basic, a hydride ion in the solution can quickly depronate the carboxylic acid, giving us benzoate. As the hydroxide ion abstracts a proton from benzoic acid, turning it into benzoate, it's going to turn into water. And this alkoxide ion can quickly abstract a proton from water, regenerating the hydroxide ion. So the end result is that we're going to get benzoate under the strongly alkaline conditions. And we're going to get a benzo alcohol. So these are the products of the Cannizzaro reaction between two 
benzaldehyde molecules. So now you know the mechanism behind the Kenazar reaction. So the end result is if you have two aldehyde molecules that do not contain an alpha hydrogen, then they will undergo the Kenazar reaction. One will be oxidized to a carboxylate ion. The other one will be reduced into an alcohol.